What's up you guys, Eddie at Fliptronics. We're we'll gonna be doing a review here on the iAdi Easy One Touch 4. So this is a brand new dash mount from them uh, as of doing this video. I wanna pull up the listing for it on Amazon and I'm gonna say that I'm super excited to check this one out. So anyways, it sells for around 20, 25 bucks. Uh, right now it's got about 60 reviews on it. Um, and uh, you know, anybody not familiar with iAdi, they make I think they're probably the number one dashboard dash mount, you know, company on Amazon. So anyways, this is their newest, uh, you know, series to come out. So I do want to get it out of the packaging so we take a look at it. And uh, like I said, there will be a link in the description. But um, anyways, you know, let's get it out. Kind of enough talking about it. Uh, this should be a two piece design. So it's going to come in two pieces. There's a little manual in there, but I'm not gonna really mess around with that. So anyways, um, I'm gonna explain how this thing works. It's a suction cup design, so basically this thing can attach to your dash or window, uh, which is really cool, so you can kind of get either either one there. Okay, anyways, uh, putting this together should be relatively easy since it's just two pieces, but um, this is pretty much where you'd put your phone. Now the cool thing about the uh, placement for this is that it's got like a soft matte material right here, but you can actually position, um, you know, pretty much any phone in here from a couple different angles. So the footer moves down here, you can adjust these feet, then you can adjust the side, uh, you know, to get your phone in, but you can also go from portrait to like landscape. So like if you're uh, navigating somewhere in your car and you need to, uh, you know, kind of twist things you can do that really easy with this um, and the suction cup on this should be really sticky so I mean uh, but you don't have to worry about like residue I mean they've you've got like a, a special design that you know doesn't leave residue on you know your windshield or uh, you know dash but anyways um, I'm gonna put it together and I'm gonna throw this uh, phone in it so we can take a look at it but uh, it's pretty pretty straightforward so you just you know have this like little screw piece right here and then you just need to uh, you know push the ball into it and then you tighten it up so like that's literally really it as far as like putting it together two pieces like I said so I mean it's relatively pretty easy all right so we got it all right so now I got it tightened up okay so um, just giving everybody like a far away view um, you can pretty much you know tilt this from a bunch of different angles so if you need to get any angle while you're in your car you can do that um, and like I said this thing will adjust uh, you know accordingly too all right so let's uh, try to loosen some of this up all right, so you can see that you can adjust it like that. So like if you're, if you've got this on your dash, you can, you know, just start kind of like tilting it like that. Um, you can also, you know, put it on your windshield like that, kind of get that angle for it. It's really cool. And then you would just tighten it up and you're pretty much good to go. Now I'm going to kind of bring it back down. Um, so let's take a look at the suction cup. The thing is extremely, I mean, extremely sticky. So anyways, you know, you're not gonna have any stickiness issues with this. I mean, it's gonna stay in place really well. Another nice thing about this too is that since it's like two pieces, uh, when you're done using it, you could always just throw it into your like, you know, just throw it into um, anywhere in your car where you can put it, it that's pretty small. So, I mean, it's gonna fit into a small place when you take it apart. I'm gonna throw this iPhone in it, just give everybody a couple different angles of, you know, pretty much how it would look. Now. Let's just say I want to go, you know, landscape like that. I can pretty much get any angle that I'm trying to get while in my car. Now, like I said, you can adjust the footer on this and then you can adjust, you know, the arm right here. So it's going to fit any phone. It's not going to have an issue fitting any phone. Um, I really like the rotation on this thing. It's got a nice firm grip too. So, I mean, it's going to hold your phone in place really well. You can see I'm like going upside down right here and it's still holding it in position really well. Um, there's actually a one year warranty on this. Pretty much anything you get from iAdi is going to have a one year warranty on it. You know, these guys are like the number one uh, sellers for dashboard mounts and this is their newest design. I think it's pretty slick. I mean, they kind of keep improving each time they release, you know, um, a new series or a new line to the series, you know, like the One Touch series. This is the fourth, you know, installment. So, I mean, they kind of keep improving and tweaking, you know, their design even better. So, um, anyways, uh, anybody wondering if this, uh, you know, new design, the uh, Easy One Touch 4, you know, is worth it. I definitely think for like 25 bucks is going to be one of the, uh, you know, best dash mounts that you can get. Um, so anyways, uh, it's got a suction cup design, so keep that in mind. You can attach this to your dashboard or windshield. Uh, it's two pieces. It's very easy to, you know, take, uh, you know, 
put together and put back together since it's just two pieces so you can pretty much fit it anywhere in your car when you need to put it away the suction cup uh, is really sticky but you don't have to worry about the residue sticking um, so I mean you don't have to worry about any like adhesive issues this thing is really slick uh, totally recommend it to anybody out there especially looking for like a really nice dash mount I'll have a link in the description for it if you want to check it out on Amazon um, hit me up in the comments if anybody has any questions about it I'm gonna be using it in my car quite a bit so uh, if you could also hit the like and share button on this video I'd appreciate it anybody watching this who has not subscribed yet hit that subscribe button and we'll see y'all later